No? We're obsessed, aren't we? We're obsessed, we're bloody obsessed with it. Yeah, finding ourselves and losing ourselves, you know? Always going off to find ourselves, you know? Seeking to lose ourselves. People try and lose themselves all the time now in meditation. People are just like, I've just got to lose myself. I've just, just got to lose myself in meditation, you know? You know? People lose themselves in baths now as well. If you read, like, the side of, like, a bath foam bottle, it'll be like, hmm, just lose yourself. <laughs> Why would you want... Just lose yourself. No, thank you. Just lose yourself. <laughs> in a heady mix of ginseng. No, no, no. <laughs> Lavender, please, God, no. And a total mental collapse. Oh, my God, I've gone. I've gone. I've gone. I've gone. It's just bubbles and confusion. It's bubbles and confusion. Now, whenever I have a bath, I have to have someone sit next to me and remind me of who I am, just to balance it out. <laughs> Your name's Jordan. You're 30 years of age and you love people watching you bathe. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not your accent. It's time to get out of the bath. <laughs> <laughs> I will lose myself. I will lose myself. So I've got to go on another gap here just to find myself again. And it's expensive, you know. I don't know how Wally's managed it all these years. <laughs> you know Wally from the Where's Wally books? Yeah. That dude's been gap hearing for 34 years. <laughs> Where is he really? Because <laughs> we're never where we are, are we? You know? I actually think we've been playing Wally wrong the whole time. I think finding where he is in the picture is just half the game. Right? The other half requires us to look really close at his eyes and try and figure out where he is in his head. <laughs> oh, geographically, he's in Egypt, but in his head, he's in a world where that wizard isn't following him everywhere. 